Hey, what's up guys? This is your friendly neighbor at Unpunk bringing you a video here today. What this is going to be is how you get this new grenade type within the Altar of Blood World War II Zombies map. So you cannot do this on any other map. And this is map specific like I just stated about four times because I'm just redundant today. This was discovered by... I, yeah, I don't know, honestly, but I know my buddy Stale was hunting this for a good long time and he posted about it this morning and I'm sure more people posted about it as well, but there are five little jack symbols or Klaus jack-in-the-box symbols around the map that you can interact with with jack-in-the-boxes. You're obviously going to need to pick up the jack-in-the-boxes from the box before you can start this Easter egg, but it's not very hard to do and you can do it by about round four. All you're going to need to do is go into a game, get your jacks, head towards spawn right here where this quick revive perk is, and throw a jack up here. So the first time, I utterly miss because I suck. So don't throw it so high, and don't pull it on punk and just be terrible, and do it right the first time. Much easier that way. You just throw it right there. You can see there's a jack symbol right there. Kind of hard to see, but not too crazy. If you do look closely, you can go ahead and see this. Next, you just wait for it to blow up. For some reason, this location takes longer than others to blow up. But once you do, you move on to the quick reload area. I don't remember exactly how to say that perk in German, so we're going to skip that. But you just go ahead and look in between these two sets of barrels, and you're going to throw another. As you see, it looks like it's not going to fit. But if it's right perfectly and smack dab hits the back, and then once it explodes, you are all set with this. And this is the second of fourth locations. This one's been known for a while, so this one's nothing new. The next location is up by the wall they use for the main Easter egg on the Torture Path. And you're just going to throw it in between these two barrels. There is another location. Again, pretty easy to spot this one. Nothing too crazy. And you're just going to do the same thing. And you're going to wait for it to explode. Once it does so, which seems to take longer and longer every single time, you're going to just move on to your fourth location, which is right down here across from the armor machine and altar of blood. And right here, there's a little edge on the left and on the right, there's the little wall piece going up. You basically, just kind of want to hug that wall piece in between these two little pots right there and throw it up there. You can't really see this one. So GG to whoever found it, because honestly, I don't think you could even see this one. I haven't been able to. But once you do that, you'll obviously get your explosion again. There is no audio cues showing that you have completed these. So if you end up getting to the end and you haven't got it to go off, just go ahead and do them all again, the ones that you can't visually see. Um, this last one was a little bit weird to see. I was watching Dane's video and couldn't quite understand the angle he was throwing it at, so I was looking just to make sure. But on this little scaffolding, this wood scaffolding, it's the second set of wood that's bunched together from the left-hand side. So if you're looking straight on, you're going to see the second set, the three pieces of wood that are all touching at the end here. Just throw it and bounce it off that roof piece right there, and you should land it on every single time. Again, it's very easy to hit most of these. You just got to kind of make sure you're throwing it correct, but it's not very hard to do your first try. Once you do so, you'll see a big earthquake on your screen knowing you have completed the correct step. It's just like the step within the main map where you have to get the flares down, but not at all. When you do so, you're going to be able to turn zombies like you saw earlier in the video. I am not even going to butcher how to say that. Control something or other. Control Granada. Something along those lines. I could be completely butchering that, so don't mind me. And yeah, you're going to be able to turn zombies. You can only get these every two rounds, so for a new player to acquire them, you'll have to wait two full rounds. So if I got mine on two, you have to go through three, and then at the beginning of four, you can get another set, and so on and so forth. So every two rounds, you'll be able to get a new one for another team member if you are playing multiple. Great for high rounds, but they do not refill roundly, only by max ammos. And overall, pretty awesome little Easter egg. Thanks again, Sledgehammer, for giving us all these cool little Easter eggs. Fun to find them. This has been your friendly neighbor at Unpunk. We're going to see you guys real soon. But until then, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace.